Right, Swift Challenger 2010. Uh, Swift Challenger 570 2010. Been away in a few days. Uh, woke up one morning, no power. Quick check. Um, main fuse is blown basically in the uh, hot water tank, which turns out to be the element. So, what happens is if you press that for the. Uh, can you see that? If you press that, watch. So it kills it all. Turn it off, all, come, all comes back to life. So, hope this video helps. I'm going to show you how to replace the element in the, uh, the trauma water tank. Right, so a couple of things first then to remove the element uh, out of a uh, uh, Truma Ultra Store Rapid and Rapid XL uh, water heater. So, what you need to do first is make sure you've dumped all your water out of it and make sure you've killed all your power. Um, these hot and cold feeds, I've done these for speed anyway, but literally just unscrew them like that and they pull off. Simples really. It's only held on with like a, um, uh, a rubber bung and a push fit. Um, other things you'll have to do uh, in this particular van is that comes apart. That's just your, your power feed for it. Make sure you take that apart. Just a spade fitting. And in this van I've had to undo these four screws uh, down here. Which basically gives me a bit more space to play. Because that there uh, is, your, uh, is your element. So it literally all comes out. Uh, I'll have to feed it back around the back of this fuse board. Right, this is the new element. Strange shape looking thing. Um, comes in a packet with two replacement uh, nuts and the o-ring to obviously seal it in place. Quite straightforward, nothing special about it. So, from a water heater, if you... All these little panels here are designed to be bent backwards so you can get into it and that's what it is in there so uh, these need to come off and so do these but watch you don't drop them because if you drop them and they go inside there you're knackered so hope you can see it guys uh, four screws to, re to remove that one sorry oh, get rid of this bloody thing So, there's them two, which are on the main element, they're 7mm, and there's these two, which are on there, which are 5.5mm. So remote, you get you get new ones of these at 7mm, you don't get new ones of these 55 They're really tiny. Quick tip is wind it all the way out, then wind it a couple of turns in, and use your fingers to remove it and grab it, because otherwise it will fall down there. Unless you've got some replacements, you're going to be stuffed. And basically what you do is just work these and that till it uh, comes out completely. So, like I said, you've already removed these screws here and remove, sorry, remove them nuts there, remove these. This thing, you have to whittle it about a bit, but it does come off like that. And then, oh, luckily, there you go, look. One element. What I've had to do in this 2010 model is to move that fuse board out of the way, which then gives you movement to pull to pull it out completely. And there it is. One blown element. Um, that's it, just disconnect the mains and we'll connect the other one back up and everything's Obviously, reversal of what we did to take it out. So, putting the new one in, fed it back of there. Don't forget to put the uh, the o ring to obviously to seal it, make it watertight. Um, so that basically just pushes into there. Like that. Yeah, mounts on these like that. And then that gizmo just goes round and mounts onto those two screws and bolt it back together. So there we are, on fitted. Um, there, 
seven mil not too bad to get on they're quite fiddly um end up getting a five and a half mil socket a little bit of blue tack at bottom uh, just so i didn't drop them so they're on they're on um, when you come to refit these in the back of there is a little rubber washer um, like an o-ring dig it out with a small screwdriver because what happens is if i get this back off and show you so as so you take it off it just springs out so get the o-ring pop it on there like that and when you refit these push that on and then that will actually push if you get it squared up right inside and shove the o-ring back in and then put that on make sure it's square and it tightens up lovely so tighten tighten um, double check those but don't over tighten them because if you if you break them you've had it um, shut the dump valve off and then it's just a case of um, you'll probably have to cut that off because the new one only comes like this only comes like this so all I'm going to do is um, put a spade connector on there I'm going to cut that off put a spade connector on there and then obviously seal them up but well out of the way of any sort of water leaks um, and that's it fill your tank give it a go so more of the truth close the dump valve prime it all with water and check for leaks where it actually goes in to the tank that's dry these fittings that you've taken off dry cold feed that's lovely and dry that so <clears throat> I've already primed the water so the tank's full now to the fuse board want the truth main fuse is on water heater Bingo! Space heater, charger, so now they're all working. So I'll leave that turned on for a few minutes, make sure it gets the water hot and there's no leaks. So that's it. That is the um, heater element in a, uh, in a Truma Ultra Store rapid water heater replaced. So just to summarise then, woke up one morning, power had tripped. When I tried to turn on the water heater, it kept flipping all the fuses out. Um, quick check from YouTube showed that it'd be the heater element, which is a common a common thing. This is a 2010 Swift Challenger 570 uh, water tanks there under the front bunk. And to replace, remember, don't pull your water out first, make sure your system's empty. I've had to remove four screws from there so that this panel comes off, makes it easy to get in and out. Um, once water's dumped, all these little creasy bendy back bits come out and that's the heater element in there. Um, that buttery coloured thing down there. So they're seven mils, two seven mil nuts to take off and that has to come off and they're five and a half mils. Don't drop them because they'll fall down the inside of this. You'll never see him again. So take that off. Take that off. That <clears throat> whittle it about. That might feel like it's stuck, but it does come off. Just pull it. Don't go inside. It's just clamp. Uh, just sticks to the side of the tank. So that comes off. That heater element pulls out. Then fed it through here at the side of this fuse board. Pulled it out. Um, Main cable just clips apart. New one, exact reverse, straight back in, bolt them up, put them on, um, five and a half mil socket, put a little bit of blue tack in the back of the socket, and then keep twiddling while you get a bite, because you don't want to drop them. Um, the O-rings that are inside here, uh, actually stay inside this bit, get a little screwdriver, pop them out, 
and push them down the tube these tubes here so I push them down them tubes and then there's like a um, an inch long piece of plastic like a shroud that will slide inside this then you nip them up so I nip them up tight on your finger tight make sure they're um, not cross threaded shut your dump valve prime with water uh, and then switch on so that's it it's took me about 30 minutes probably 40 minutes tops and the e element uh, 130 quid on ebay it's best to try that first before you uh, call in somebody who needs to take your whole tank out which will cost you about 500 quid that's it guys